Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing type number 1 of inverse Laplace transform that is basic problems, problem number 7 and 8. Welcome back friends, let's discuss problem number 7 and 8 similar to problem number 5 and 6. So let us start quickly. Problem number 7, I have already told you a note and the note is whenever we see quadratic equation in the denominator perfect square. So first of all let us take 4 common from the numerator and that 4 will come out of Laplace inverse. So that will 4 Laplace inverse in the numerator we are taking 4 common so that will be s plus 3 upon in the denominator this is our quadratic equation we gonna convert it into perfect square. Square root of this this sign in between plus half of 8 that is 4 the whole square now if you open you will get s square plus 8s plus 16 but here we want 12 and we getting 16 therefore we need to subtract 4 from it so that this expression will be equivalent to this please tell me do you find shifting in this particular problem yes or no no. Why? Because here it is plus 4, here it is plus 3. Different, it can't be shifting. Therefore, you need to convert numerator according to denominator. So, this will be 4 Laplace inverse of s plus 4 minus 4 plus 3 upon s plus 4 the whole square minus 4. In the denominator, we have s plus 4. Therefore, in the numerator also, we must have s plus 4. So, plus 4 minus 4 plus 3. 4 Laplace inverse of s plus 4 this is minus 1 minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 upon s plus 4 the whole square minus 4 now you can see shifting of plus 4 so therefore e raised to minus 4 d outside Laplace inverse of forget about this shifting and write down whatever you see so if you remove this you will be left with in the numerator s minus 1 in the denominator s square minus 4 what next obviously you can separate here i am writing down directly now i i think you will understand i am separating here this will be s upon s square minus 4 1 upon s square minus 4 let me write it down don't uh, i don't want to take uh, risk so let me explain you yes please so that is equal to 4 e raised to minus 4d what is Laplace of s upon s square minus 4 cos h2t minus 1 upon s square minus 4 1 upon a sin a t but since it is minus it will be hyperbolic so that is 1 upon 2 sin h 2t so this is a required solution for problem number 7 let us discuss quickly problem number 8 here also we can go ahead with the similar procedure 4 we took common here also you can take 2 common and you can proceed but there is one more method It's just a simplification. You can have any method. So what we're doing, I'm splitting this 3 into 2 and 1. See what I'm doing. I'm writing this 3 as 2 plus 1. Okay. And in the denominator, obviously, and you should remember the note. And what is the note? Whenever we get quadratic equation in the denominator, perfect square. So it will be as square root of this, this sign between half of this, the whole square. If you open, you will get s square plus 2s plus 1 but we want 2 so we need to add 1 from these two terms if you take 2 common so therefore it will be s plus 1 plus 1 so what we did we take we took 2 common from these two terms upon s plus 1 the whole square plus 1 do you see shifting in this problem yes s is shifted by plus 1 so what will be outside yes please fast it will be e raised to minus t obviously uh, e raised to minus t outside laplace inverse of 
forget about the shifting and write it on whatever you see so you will you will see this is 2s plus 1 upon s square plus 1 what next separate this upon this this upon this and story over so this is e raised to minus t concentrate on this term 2s upon s square plus 1 obviously this 2 is a constant s upon s square plus 1 is cos t plus 1 upon s square plus 1 is what sin t so that is it so we are done with the problem number 8 uh, and done with the basic problems hope you understood practice well because this will be very helpful while solving the bigger problems thank you